This is Twit. Scythe Mugen 5 Tough Cooler. Tough. This is this cools better because it has LEDs, right? Obviously. I mean, RGBs <laughs> make computers faster. And as I've discovered in my secret testing laboratory, they make coolers cooler looking, but not necessarily cooler, as you may read in the review. Uh, it's interesting looking because if you, it's got a, an, a, an odd aesthetic. If you're not into the Asus Tough series, they kind of rebranded what Tough was. Tough used to be these motherboards that had like all sorts of ridiculous armor and military spec components and things. And now the Tough brand is more of kind of their entry level brand. There's a lot of, of affordable gaming motherboards that have the Tough logo and this sort of color scheme that has yellow accents. So this is part of a family of things that are available out there that are part of this thing called the Tough Gaming Alliance. So they have similar aesthetic, which involves yellow and black. But when you actually get this installed, it's it's a Scythe Mugen 5. I tested one of these a couple of years ago. It's a really, really high performance, smaller, sort of fairly inexpensive cooler. I think the Mugen 5 sells for about 48 bucks. Mm -hmm. So this version of it sells for closer to 60 the top of the heat sink, they've added this RGB cover, which separately connects to an available RGB header or daisy chains with the one on the fan. So then you have a your the ability to sync the top and the fan on your CPU cooler with your motherboard. And if you have one of these tough motherboards, it's going to already kind of match and just go nuts with customization and you know lighting effects. But as far as real performance goes, I tested it against a little group of $30 to $60 coolers. And the Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim I reviewed a couple weeks ago is still out ahead by about a degree or so, degree and a half. Okay. The Mugen 5 Tough is still very good. And it beats the, you know, the venerable Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo by about a degree. So, and it's a lot quieter than the Hyper 212 Evo. In fact, it was the second quietest cooler I've tested recently, only to that Be Quiet cooler, which has an extremely quiet, very low RPM fan. So, <laughs> minimal noise output, minimal noise output, and, you know, interesting aesthetics. So, if you have to like the aesthetics or be trying to match a tough board, I think, to for this yellow and black with RGB colors to kind of make sense. But if you like the way it looks, I thought it was a good, a, it's a good product, but it's not as compelling a value as those Cooler Master coolers, which are so inexpensive. So like $30, $35, you can get yourself one of those Hyper 212 family of coolers. This is closer to 60, so you have to want the RGBs. And then, right. you know, there are RGB options that are less, but not with that top panel. So it really depends on on what you like. It is. I've never seen an air cooler with an RGB-enabled cap on the top of the heatsink. So this, it's a first. <laughs> you know, it's 2019, and you must RGB everything. <laughs>